Um, so just like the supraspinatus's origin is in the supraspinous fossa, the infraspinatus is in the infraspinous fossa, and they it comes out and attaches at the same place as the uh, supraspinatus. So same thing, we're gonna find the spine of the scapula. It's right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find um, the inferior angle. Watch your toes, just come on back. Uh, Bring this hand in the small of your back for me, just for a second. So that's the easiest way to quickly find that inferior angle if it's not very prominent. So there's the inferior angle. There's the spine of the scapula. So inside that triangle is the infraspinatus muscle. Okay? So a couple things about the infraspinatus muscle. It has that similar uh, sort of chunky texture that the supraspinatus has. So once you find the spine and the fibers go in this direction, so our palpation is gonna be this way. And then just follow it as far as you can, which isn't gonna be much. It's gonna disappear there into the deltoid. Okay, um, so a couple things that I want you to appreciate about this muscle. Uh, the way we can get this muscle to pop up, since it's a horizontal AB ductor, is just ask our partner to lift their elbow off the table. And so you can see it right there. And one of the things that I want you to notice is here's the ridge of the muscle, right? But there's the spine of the scapula. So I want you to notice that when you're palpating it on your partner, that the bulk of the muscle is here, and here's the... Um, vertebral border of the scapula. So note that the bulk of it contracts a good bit away from that um, border, okay? You okay there, Wade? Okay. Not that you can answer me, that's why I chose you, no talking back. <laughs> okay, so pretty easy, go ahead and relax. So find the spine of the scapula, find the inferior angle, mark out that triangle for yourself. Go in and palpate, appreciate the chunkiness of the fibers. Palpate it as far as you can when it's relaxed. Not there. Have your partner engage it. Notice and appreciate the bulk of the muscle does not reach its way all the way to the um, vertebral border. And if they're okay in that position, go ahead and palpate it as far as you can out. Okay? So, um, when he does this, what else is right in this area that's a horizontal abductor? Okay, what else? What else Three might delt. get in your way? Posterior deltoid, right? So, so this is great to have the, that pop up, but this is right here now also. So make sure you're not on, don't, make, make sure you don't get lost. If you start working your way onto the brachium of the arm, you're lost. Okay, because look at how it dives in. It should like die out like right as you get to the, to the, right to the posterior deltoid. Yeah, you're not likely to feel it pass there. If you have somebody who really doesn't have much of a posterior deltoid, like his is pretty prominent. If you have one that's really small, you might be able to go a little bit farther. But in general, that's going to be what stops you. Okay. okay. Any questions about that? Okay. Go ahead.